lateral approach to the knee indications, lateral or posterolateral repair or reconstruction, and lateral meniscal repair. Positioning. Supine or with use of a knee holder can follow with an arthroscopy with the knee in this position. Incision. An 8 to 10 centimeter vertical incision is centered over the mid portion of the iliotibial band and passes distally over Gerdi's tubercle. Figure. The deep incision should be anterior to the lateral gastrocnemius, tendon, posterior to the LCL, palpable with the knee in the figure 4 position and anterior to the biceps tendon to protect the perineal nerve. Superficial dissection. Skin and subcutaneous tissues are dissected to expose the iliotibial band and the biceps tendon. Deep dissection. Identify and protect the perineal nerve just posterior to the biceps muscle. Carefully dissect the nerve across the neck of the fibula figure. Develop the interval between the iliotibial band and the biceps, interval 1, as needed. Developing the interval allows identification of the tibial attachments of the lateral joint capsule. Split the mid-portion of the iliotibial band, interval 2, figure. This procedure allows identification of the lateral femoral epicondyle and the femoral attachments of the LCL and popliteus tendon, figure. Closure. Repair intervals 1 and 2, using absorbable suture. Meniscal repair, figure, for inside-out meniscal repair, a smaller, 5cm incision is made in the same area. Most of the incision is below the joint line. The incision can extend along the iliotibial band for larger meniscal repairs or meniscal transplants with the interval developed between the posterior border of the iliotibial band and the biceps femoris to gain access to the lateral joint capsule. The biceps, iliotibial band, interval 1, is developed and the capsule is exposed posterior dissection, anterior to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, is necessary for retractor placement. Figures, it is often necessary to dissect some fibers of the short head of the biceps femoris and the lateral gastrocnemius off the capsule. The biceps, iliotibial band, interval 1, is developed and the capsule is exposed. Posterior dissection, anterior to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, is necessary for retractor placement, figure, it, it's often necessary to dissect some fibers of the short head of the biceps femoris and the lateral gastrocnemius off the capsule. The biceps, iliotibial band, interval 1, is developed and the capsule is exposed. Posterior dissection, anterior to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, is necessary for retractor placement, figure. It is often necessary to dissect some fibers of the short head of the biceps femoris and the lateral gastrocnemius off the capsule. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.